one six eight six zero zero one three and I'm going to do another review in the same day because I've still not done a review for this weapon that I've had for ages. Anyway, so these reviews for the CQB dual power. It is on just PB guns. It was for thirty pounds because it was faulty and it only worked as a spring rifle. See, I fixed that. I bought it and then and then uh, and then I, I, I opened it up, tried to see if I could fix it and I could. It was uh, the polarity going to the motor, which turns all the cogs for it to fire electrically. Was um, they were reversed. Uh, the part it was was reversed, so basically the electricity was going through it backwards, so it made everything go backwards. So the cog would turn backwards, hit off something, and not go. So it was like you'd try and fire it, and it would just sort of go, hmm, hmm, hmm. But when you actually fire anything, it would just try and do something, but not do anything. If you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, I don't know if if they got if uh, I don't know if just BB guns got them fixed and kept on selling them or not uh, because it, they're out of stock now but anyway um, it's, it's a pre pretty good it's quite compact it's quite small it just comes like this in the box it comes it comes with this as you see here uh, and it comes in a, a little brown box that it that doesn't have care on it it's just because me and my, my friend have have both the same rifle and we keep them here in my, in my house and uh, and there was obviously there's going to be two wee boxes uh, so he's marked his, his initials Kettle um, uh, he's marked his with his initials uh, so that he knows it says so uh, in the little brown box it comes with a a speed loader like that when it, with an adapter that will fit onto the magazine which I'll show you in a minute. It comes with the instructions. Mm -hmm. The usual stuff, do not point at any human or animal, blah 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 blah. It also comes with a small bag of blue 0.2 gram BBs. BBs. That's no 0.2, it's 0.12 gram BBs. Uh, although they have been used because I've had this for so long. Uh, it's about 100 in the wee bag. So. Anyway. In, on the video for the website it says use good batteries like Duracell. I think Duracell batteries are crap, right? So what I use, I'll show you the difference in that. But what I use is uh, if you if, if you search, uh, just search uh, Sanyo in a loop. Um, where is it? HR dash three U T G A batteries. Um, these are rechargeable batteries. They come charged. Uh, they are very very good. Um, uh, I just recharged them recently. Um, they last for a long time. They never even ran out of charge, so I, I just decided to charge them so they were full again. Um, but uh, don't worry, I'm not going to mess them up because the charger that I use automatically drains the battery fully before it starts charging them again. So it's good. So it does. It's supposed to be good for the batteries. So anyway, I'll show you with these. I'll show you with these in a look. Samuel, whatever, something T U G A, whatever. And so that uh, eh, I mention. Right. The batteries go in at the back at the stock. There's just a little, see that wee sort of catch there? It's the same one at the other side, you just pinch them. Pinch them and then sort of push it out at the same time. And then it just comes out. And then the connectors is here and here. It's usually a bit longer coming out the back. It's just because of what I did in the inside. I cut the wires and then soldered them together. The way I soldered them together, it was quite short. It made it quite short at this end. 
So, uh, but it still works, and the, you can still extend the stop when it's uh, when the wire's shorter. So anyway, let's put the batteries in. You put them in one side. Obviously, you just follow what it says: negative, positive, blah blah blah. Uh, right, maybe I'm better to do this sitting down or holding. Right, there we go. The batteries are loaded in there, and you know what you do is you put them in. And then you get the two connectors, connect them, and then uh, just shut it over again and make sure, make sure the two wee catches are in the right place so you don't end up snapping them. And then it's got safety, it's got semi and auto, so semi, right, and then auto is. So that's where the A batteries fully charged, right? And listen to the Duracell batteries. These Duracell batteries have not been used, they're actually still in the packet. So they're actually still in the packet. Right, so, we go, still in the packet, Duracell's new. you really do care about the, the difference it makes then you can just um then you can just sort of pause uh, go back the uh, go back in the video to to where that is to where I'm firing it. Same again, put them in, turn the connectors up. Okay. It's a lot slower than the analog batteries. So, anyway, so I'll just keep them in for the meantime. So as, you say, as I say, it's got safe, semi auto, and it's quite. Quite, it's a lot heavier with the batteries in. It's got an adjustable stop. Uh, it can adjust to one, two, three, four, uh, four, four levels of adjustment. Um, the, it has two sites. It has. Um, let's see, yeah, it's got the, the dot site and then it's got that the fork site. Um, uh, it's a good wee detail, it does absolutely nothing, but it's a wee detail anyway. This turns, uh, these turn, but again, they don't do anything. Um, I've not even showed you the spring yet. So, the way the spring works is it's just, just normal spring, and all it really does is just does the same as the electric, it's just sort of interlinked. Um, so, you, you could be firing from from uh, electric or automatic and your batteries could die so I'm going to use semi for this and then you can't fire because your batteries are dead so you just load it there you go so there's no button to press or anything it's just straight just straight to it um, the magazine can sit about 50 to 60 rounds actually it says down the bottom BB times 70, so it says 70. The speed load I said I was going to show you that's disappeared somewhere. There it is. Um, that is uh, the way it goes on. It's the, this is the way, ah yes. The little space at the back goes to the back of the magazine. Like that. I can get on. Yeah, like that. And then you just load them. You just load them, but 
while you're loading them as it says in the video on the website you need to press that button just to make sure it's easy enough to, to get it in so, uh, uh, that attachable that attachable that eh uh, That adapter does does actually come off, so you can use the speed loader for anything else. Um, yeah, so quite a good one. It has good accuracy. It has good accuracy. It's um, quite powerful. Um, so I've been shot by it a few times, and it's actually quite so. It makes it makes a mark in your arm, like if it's bare skin, it makes a mark, which is always good for telling you how powerful it is. Um, this can actually come off, the, it can slide back and forward but it can actually come off and how it comes off is you need to get a Phillips head screwdriver, it needs to be relatively big, just find one that fits it and then the centre screws, see the ones in the centre, at both sides, just uh, just unscrew them, no other, no other screws but the ones in the centre, because I've done that and I ended up taking the RIS rail off, which you don't want to do obviously, because you want your rail there for attachments and for the gun to look normal. So. so, and then all you do is just lift the front up, and there, there that's just lift the front up, that's it. Then there's a little button at the front of that, do you see it there? You just lift it up and then it slides, so you just slide it forward and off and then you can put a scope on or whatever um, I, I actually use a scope for it I don't, I don't have a, I don't have this on most of the time um, yeah so uh, you don't get any front attachments or anything but I do imagine you could probably put something on uh, if you could find something that's for it on the internet, uh, triggers metal, uh, so is it the safety catcher actually I think, or is it plastic, I don't know, I don't have a clue, um, so yeah that is the, the CKB dual power, I, and white size 0313, and thank you very very much, for watching, just let me screw screw back in, and I shall let you go away. There we go. Thanks for watching.